from Leisure Travel Vans. I'm in beautiful Tampa Bay, Florida, and today I have a bird's eye view of the 2024 Wonder Rear Lounge. If you've been looking for a small motorhome, if you're looking at Class B's, too small, can't carry anything, I get it, I get it, I get it. This could be the perfect motorhome. Two separate living areas, one in the back, one in the front. Bed comes down in the back, make a bed up front, optional air mattress, you can sleep up to four people. We have four seat belts. I think you're gonna absolutely love it. Hey, if you think the outside is absolutely fantastic, come on inside because you're gonna love the inside of the rear lounge wonder for 24. Hey, welcome inside the 2024 Wonder Rear Lounge. Look how beautiful this motorhome is. As I mentioned earlier, two living areas, one in the back, one in the front, but let's have a look at these colors. Absolutely beautiful. This is Rift Oak. We have two other colors, White Oak and Mocha. And we also have an option for the upper cabinets and it's a white upper. It's actually beautiful. If you wanna change the look of the motorhome and have the white uppers. If you don't order that, then you would have the Rift Oak or whichever color you would in the door panels. And look how beautiful those doors are. Curved European hidden hinges, absolutely fantastic. We have three different ultra fabric leathers. This one is our sand. We also have dove and clay. We also have two different countertops. We have concrete. This one is Antarctica white, which is absolutely beautiful. So we're in Florida and they just launched a rocket up to the moon that was gonna land in the moon. Apparently it's going to now miss the moon and just keep going. So we're like inspired by that with Michael Jackson. Woo! And we're gonna moonwalk into the back of this motorhome. Come on back here because this is a living area and a bedroom area. The Wonder Rear Lounge, absolutely fantastic. We just sit back here, we've got our two foot rest. We're just chilling. We got a TV back here. We've got the solarium windows on the patio side, which looks fantastic. Looking at palm trees, cross ventilation, LED lights throughout. The motorhome looks actually fantastic. And we've got lots of storage and stuff back here. And let's show you this beautiful motorhome. There we go. And storage, look at this. This is kind of a hidden storage area. I really like this. Nice place for storage underneath there, extra linens, things like that. So really smart. So underneath the sofa part, we have storage. And this is our lagoon table from the front. We can bring it back here and look at this. I've got a nice work area, computer desk, can play cards. I can have dinner back here, can have it in the front or we can have it in the back, right? You can move it out of the way. I can swivel it out, go to the bathroom, get something out of the fridge. Absolutely fantastic, because I can have dinner and a movie. If you have a satellite dish, which we have an optional satellite dish that you can get, it's the WineGuard T4, does dish direct and bell. I mean, you would have as much satellite TVs you want. You can watch it back here. You can watch it up front because we have two TVs in this motorhome. Absolutely fantastic. So great option to have if you're into TV, the satellite dish option. You're gonna love this back area, absolutely fantastic. Look at this, I kinda have a nice little chaise lounge, kick back, relax, watch TV. Actually, you can just use it as a day bed. You're a little bit tired, you wanna have a nap? Absolutely. I mean, I'm six foot one, look at this. I can still lay down completely on the bed or on the sofa area that becomes my day bed. Absolutely fantastic, but it just feels so comfortable. Love the memory foam. You know, one of the things that we do, which is very, very cool, you can see, you know, all solid wood. So, I mean, it's not like it's cheap, cheap product. You can enjoy, sit down, you can sit down, it's comfortable. You know, lounge, you have a bed area. We also have our secondary multiplexing panels right here. So you can control this area. I can turn that fan on. I can turn the lights on and off. I can turn all the lights off when I wanna to go to bed. Boom, look at this. Turn all the lights off. Boom, hit the button. Turn all the lights on. Plus you can run it off your smartphone as well. So you can dim the lights off the control panels or using your smartphone, you just hold the button and you can see how the lights dim down. We've also got some charging ports here, USB-C and USB charging ports. This is also an inverted plug. So if you have a sleep apnea machine and you wanna to go to bed at night, you can plug it in there, turn on your inverter if you're dry camping. Emergency escape window in case of an emergency, you just pop these red handles here, window slides out and you can go out with it. <laughs> but uh, here we go here with our awning style windows. 
So you can see right here, I've got, they open up if it's pouring rain. I don't have to worry about it. I can have my window open, get some ventilation because it can be still really hot and pouring rain. So you've got cross ventilation over on that side as well. We also have our nighttime shades. So at nighttime, I can go to bed. You can see we got the locks in here that hold the shade in place so you can have the window open, right? Very nice. They're gonna pop right back up. So look at storage, right? Look at that. Beautiful, European hidden hinges, curved doors, nice big storage. You just touch it and it pops open. There we go, lots of storage area, absolutely fantastic. I love the curved doors. Don't forget this has got the optional white Fenix uppers, very nice. And then look, lock in place, soft close. And then over on the uh, campsite, we've got more storage in here. And look at this, storage underneath here for linens, things like that. We have some great storage in here. And of course we have our TV with our sound bar and that's streaming Bluetooth as well. So you can play your favorite music on there. A little more storage up here, storage up here. And we even have some more storage on this side, hanging closet. Very nice. And then look at this, full drawer extension glides. Right now this is our uh, shade for our front windshield for privacy. We just have it in there for now. And then here, and then look, full soft close, and then nice big drawer here, nice big deep, right? And once again, soft close as well. On the camp side, we've got our awning style windows. We have two on this side. Absolutely fantastic. We can open this up. Look at this, nice fresh air. We have our privacy blind, right? So I can have the windows open. And then this bottom area, we've got a privacy curtain that just snaps in place right here. So you have lots of privacy at night and it's nice and dark in the bedroom area. So we wanna make this into a bed. I move the cushions off, very simple to do. My last cushion here, I'm just gonna slide this out of the way. And then this comes up, this is the base for the bed. I press this button here and look at this, boom. I have a beautiful Murphy bed. Absolutely love it. Lots of room, look at this. Once again, I'm six foot one, six two. I'm not sure I'm shrinking a bit, but look how much room I have. Right up here, we have an inverted plug and we also have a USB and USB-C charging port. Couple things. Number one, I can read in bed if I want. I like that, work on my computer, things like that, super comfortable. I can obviously sleep in my bed, no problem whatsoever. Somebody is sleeping here. I love this feature. I can just slide out, moonwalk my way out of the bed and I can go to the bathroom or I can get something from the refrigerator if I'm hungry and I can moonwalk in to the bed. And I didn't disturb the other person that's here. It also comes with a mattress cover, so you can put the mattress cover on and then just put your sheets on. You can leave your sheets on. You can have to move your uh, pillows and your comforter out, but you can leave your sheets on. No problem there. And very simple to move back up. We're just going to press the button right here. And you can see this. This is going to lock in place. We have a secondary lock on the side here when you're traveling, but then we just release this and down it goes, and then I'm just gonna put the cushions back in, and bang, I'm back from a bed area, back into a living area, or an office, right? A lot of people are working from home, or on the road, over the living room area, over the bed area, at nighttime, if it's super hot, you can just run this on 12 volt, and it will pull all the warm air out of the motorhome. And if cross ventilation isn't enough, and the two fantastic fans, we've got the beautiful Truma, 13,500 BTU air conditioner, the Aventa, and you can plug it into a 15 amp receptacle and run the air conditioner, which is kind of unheard of. If you're at a certain campground and they don't have 30 amp service, you can order the 15 amp service and still run this beautiful air conditioner. It's pin quiet, it's energy efficient, and it produces lots of cold air in those hot weather conditions. Standard on all Wonder Motor Homes for 2024. You're gonna love it. And this is a non-slide out motorhome, so you don't have to worry about slide outs in any way. This is a non-slide. It feels huge. We can block off the two areas. Look at this. Now I've blocked off that front area, living area, from the back living area. That which makes it so great. So if you have guests staying with you, they can stay on this side of the wall <laughs> and you can stay on this side of the wall. We split the bathroom, shower on this side, bathroom on this side. We got our beautiful curved bathroom door, right? Once again, done in Rift Oak in this situation. We got a nice big bathroom, right? I can actually sit in here. I can sit in here with the door closed. I know you can't see me, but 
I have lots and lots of room here in the bathroom area. So this is a two-piece bathroom. I've got my toilet. This is a China toilet. This is a macerator toilet. So what a macerator toilet does is it turns up all the solids, shoots them into the black tank. We've got a little button right here and you can control the flow of water um, for the amount of water that you want to use to flush. And that's all done right here. I really like this. We have a solid Corian countertop done in Antarctica white, little stainless steel sink, and we have our chrome faucet. I like the accessory channel here. I can put my toothpaste, my toothbrushes. This is very cool because we have a window, so I have natural light in the bathroom. And if I want some privacy, look at this. I can block it across here. I still have a nice dressing mirror. Hey, don't forget, check out our Leisure Travel Van store. We have great clothing, hats, cups. So when you're driving your Leisure Travel Van, you can do it in leisure swag. That blocks off there. Look at that. I can move that back over to here lock it in place, got some little storage areas here. And then I mentioned earlier, we can control all of our fans right here. So I can move the fan up, knock the fan up, and then I can bring all the air out of this area, boom. I mean, it moves some serious air. You can hear that, it is bringing out air. Then I can simply just close it, can actually turn all the lights off and on in the motorhome, <laughs> in the bathroom. That should be some fun games if your uh, significant other is sleeping. You can uh, have some fun. You can also turn my water pump on. If you're dry camping, you need your water pump turned on. You don't have to go all the way to the front to turn on the water pump. Boom, hit it here. Over here, we've got our full water filtration on all the Wonder Motorhomes. Little carbon filter goes in there. So nice little storage there. And then we've got a little medicine cabinet up here. I almost forgot about that. Look at that. Nice little medicine cabinet. Every little detail is done. I love the skylight. I can see these beautiful palm trees. Lots of natural light as well, but nice big stand-up shower. Look, turn all the way around, right? I have a removable shower head, which is really, really cool. It actually has a flow restrictor built on it too, so you can actually slow the water flow down if you're dry camping, save some water. Don't forget, we got the Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus hot water heater. It's got a recirculating pump, so it's always recirculating the hot water to each of the hot water faucets here bathroom and in the kitchen area. So you got a place here for your shampoos and soaps. Absolutely fantastic. I love the squeegee door right here. So when it closes, it squeegees the water out and streams back into the gray tank. Little handle here for getting in and out. LED light. Also got a place here if you've got wet bathing suits or towels or you want to do some little light, light laundry, you can just drip dry it here while you're driving down the road. That is super smart. This is very nice. I mean, nice. Pretty big bathroom, I mean, for a 24 foot nine inch motorhome with two separate living areas, I've still got a very, very comfortable shower. Hard to believe we have two separate living areas in a 24 foot nine inch motorhome, hard to believe. And look, my second living area, also my dining room area, we have our lagoon table, as you can see here, and our brand new table for 2024. One table, absolutely fantastic. You can see how it turns and swivels. Great for playing cards, obviously for having breakfast, lunch, and dinner, snacks, kicking back and relaxing. You can have dinner for four in the front area. You can have some people in the back. I mean, this motorhome could hold six, seven people if you wanted to for uh, cocktails and drinks or supper. Absolutely party wagon. It's a party wagon. And it actually kind of turns out into a little bit of an ottoman as well. I can sit back here, put my feet up, and I can watch TV as well. So, I mean, it's just super multifunctional. It's hard to believe in such a small motorhome. We have all of this room. I love this place for shoes, right? So I don't have them in my step well. I'm not going to fall out and kill myself. Look at this. Double stacking shoe area. Very smart. We've got four seat belts. We keep them up front here because you don't want the seat belts in the back area aft of the axles. You always want the seat belts towards the front of the axles. Much smoother ride. So seat belt on this side, seat belt on that side, and one there and one here. So total of four seat belts. Plus this makes into a super single bed and you order the optional air mattress, you can sleep up to four people. So we're gonna make this into a super single bed right now. I mean, you can use this as an ottoman, obviously. Um, we have a filler piece that fills in here. Bring this across, bring this across, and we're just gonna put this in its place here, like so. I like that. And then put this last filler piece back up into here. And look at this. I've got a beautiful single bed. Super long too. I mean, you can see my head is back here, but look how much room I have over there. I can slide all the way down. I mean, this is a long, long bed. So if you're super tall, this is where you're going to sleep. It's actually super comfortable too. All done in ultra fabrics. Great super single bed. 
Also, you can order the optional air mattress and this becomes a big bed area. All of this one big bed area. So very comfortable. You can also use this, you know, kind of as a day bed too, if you wanted, but uh, kick back and relax because that's why you buy an RV is just to, uh, you know, enjoy life, relax and enjoy life. We order all of our Ford chassis with the swivel seats, right? So both chairs become part of the motor home, which is great. And you can see our beautiful floor, flush floor all the way to here. So I'm not going to fall and trip and hurt myself. Great safety feature there. Plus we have our beautiful Lenovo it actually looks like ceramic tile. Actually, the first time I seen it, I had to get my hands and knees because I thought it was. A little bit of storage area in here. We also have USB charging ports and USB-C charging ports on both sides here. So we also have some 120 volt plugs on both sides as well. As we cut out the cab area here, so I have easy access. I like that because once again, quite tall, six foot one. You know, I can easily move and moonwalk to the back of the motorhome. You're gonna like the fact that we have two TVs in this motorhome. So if you're a significant other, wants to watch Dancing of the Stars or Love is Blind or The Bachelor or Bachelorette, you can go, hey, I'm going to be up front watching season four of Westworld. I like that. Plus, we have a sound bar here and a sound bar in the back. And then we also have this entertainment area here, kind of hidden, which I like. So we've got inverted plugs. So if you want to put your satellite receiver here, if you order the optional satellite dish, the WineGuard T4 dish, or a PlayStation or an Xbox. Some of us have both. I won't say who, but one of us in this room has both. We also have uh, HDMI plugins here. Everything is right connected right here here and we kind of hide it which is very cool and then underneath here this is where we have our wine guard 2.0 wi-fi booster up on the roof so it's, it'll boost free wi-fi if you're around at mcdonald's or starbucks or anybody that has free wi-fi some campgrounds do it'll boost that signal or you can buy a sim card for it and put it into the wi-fi booster up on the roof and then you would be your own personal hotspot. you'd probably do that off your cell phone provider or you can buy minutes from WineGuard itself. And then once again, you're your own personal hotspot. And there's also a TV antenna booster here. So digital free TV antenna, hit that button and it'll pull in the signal for wherever you happen to be, Canada or the US. So that's right there as well. So all of our Wonder Motorhomes are multiplex, which means you can control the motorhome right here. We have secondary panels throughout the motorhome. So this is our main home page. You can see our propane is at 70%. We're pretty much empty black, empty gray, and empty fresh. 78 degrees in here right now and these are our settings that we're going to have for our air conditioner and for our furnace which i can start up my generator you can tell me how much my voltage is in my batteries right now we're fully charged go to the individual lights i can turn the lights off i can turn the lights on if i hold the light you can see how it dims right and then we want to bring it back all the way up turn your awning lights on your storage lights on you can download the app on your smartphone and you can run everything off your smartphones which is very cool so download the app next we have our auto gen start so the wonder has a standard four kilowatt gas generator auto gen start it's designed for different things you can do two or three different things with it number one you can turn it off and on at a campground at a set time so if the campground says generators have to be off by 10 o'clock at night you can set it to turn the generator off at 10 o'clock and before it turns off at 10 o'clock it'll do a little signal through the system to see where your battery power is and if it's a little bit low 15 minutes before quiet time it would come back on and charge up the batteries the other big one is that most people use is for their pets if they have pets in the motorhome they would set auto gen start by temperature of the air conditioner so for example it's 78 degrees in the motorhome right now let's say it went to 88 that's pretty hot uh, for pets so the generator would turn on the air conditioner would come on and cool cool the motorhome down to whichever temperature you want in this situation, 70 degrees. So here we got our temperature setting for the motorhome so I can set my air conditioner. Don't forget we got the new Truma 13.5 BTU air conditioner, which is pin quiet. You have a night mode on it as well. You also have dehumidifying mode. You can also have the fans run. We always leave the fans on auto normally, that which is also good. And we also have our furnace, which is 16,000 BTUs, which will keep you nice and warm. And you can set that by temperature as well. There's a few items that aren't controlled by the multiplexing system and they're right above the entrance door nice area right here so we have an option of 200 watts of solar or 400 watts of solar we use a solid rigid panel up on the roof so you can either go 200 watts of solar or 400 watts of solar this is going to tell us exactly what's going on with our solar panels how many amps we're charging back into our house batteries so for our truma aquago comfort plus hot water heater we have two settings here eco and comfort when it's on eco it does not heat our little one liter of hot water when it's on comfort it keeps that nice and warm so you can set it there. You can
can also turn it off. Over here for our lithium batteries, we have a little heater. When it gets cold, lithium batteries don't like the cold. So anything 36 degrees Fahrenheit and lower, they stop taking a charge or giving a charge. So we want to turn on our little heat pads. Now, however, in the summertime, when it's super hot, we never want to turn that on. And then right here, we have our controller for our 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. So if you're dry camping, you're going to turn on your inverter and that's going to change the batteries from 12 volt power to 120 volt power. And you can run your electronics, your TV, charge your computer, things like that, watch movies, things like that. That's the only time you're going to turn on your inverter. Otherwise, you would leave your inverter off. A few little things here just above the door that aren't controlled by the multiplexing system. Let's have a look up at the ceiling. We have our beautiful LED lights, nice soft lights, nice ambiance in the motorhome. And then, of course, we have our beautiful opening skylight. Absolutely beautiful. Lots of fresh air, lots of the trees blowing in the wind there. If it's super hot out, let's say you're down in Arizona, it's 100 degrees. Close this and still have some fresh air. Or you've got mosquitoes, bugs, flies. You can have it this and still have the uh, skylight open. So very nice. I really like that. Opens all the way up. Lots of fresh air. Over on this side, of course, we have our screen door. But we also have a privacy blind right here that locks in place at nighttime. It's very nice. And we have a privacy blind over this window as well. And once again, you can lock it in place over here. I love this. We have a place here to hang our jackets, right? There's never a place to hang a jacket in a motorhome. So we have a couple hooks here for hanging your jacket, all done in ultra fabrics. One of our secondary control panels, right? For our multiplexing lit handle for getting in and out, battery disconnect switch and our fire extinguisher. Hey, Gordon Ramsay just called me. Hey, Gordon, I'll call you right back. Hey, it's time to cook. So let's talk about the galley. Absolutely. Look at this. Hello, counter extension, lots of room to prep the food, absolutely. Two burner spark ignition stove. Always make sure when you turn that off that you make sure that the flames are completely gone before you close. It's got a built-in backsplash, I really like that. I love the window, right, some natural light, but look how much counter space you have. Lots of room to prep your food. Stainless steel sink, chrome faucet, I love our accessory channel. Paper towel holder, absolutely a must. Over here, we've got our places for our spices, hanging wraps. And if you're into major spices or lots of spices, you've got lots of spice rack room up here as well. So here and here, great storage. And then above here, look at this, storage, storage. Hey, place here for your plates, cups, right? Double stack, I like that. Nice, big, deep storage area here. Awning style window once again if you're cooking you want to open up the window have some of the uh, fumes from the cooking go out You can do that. You can also have privacy at night. Look at that locks in place have the windows open Absolutely fantastic. I just love the storage once again European hidden hinges curved door soft close The sound of solid look how big that countertop is fantastic when you want to get rid of it knock it up here lock it in place back into my dining room area. And then down below here, we've got some great storage. I like this, our sink cover can just slide in here and put it out of the way. Very smart. Storage, look at this. Cutlery drawer, right? Very nice, soft close as well, right? Full water filtration, we talked about that earlier. Here's your charcoal filter, soft close. Nice big pot and pan drawer, soft close. Place here to hang cleaning supplies, towels, and look at this. Right here, we have a beautiful garbage can built right into the door. Easy access to our water pump and easy access to our Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus hot water heater. We've got a secondary multiplexing panel right here that I can uh, turn my fan on over there. Don't forget our Truma air conditioners right here, but you're gonna love this. Gordon's gonna love this, I gotta call him back. Look at this. Pull out pantry, look at that. And you can see I'm on the new Jenny Curry diet where I'm just eating nuts and cheese bits and uh, Pringles. That should uh, lose me some weight, no problem there. This is a brand new redesigned pull out pantry. I love the steel shelves right here. We got our logo built right into it. And look at this, this closes up and locks in place. Absolutely fantastic. And then over on this side, we've got our convection microwave. Correct. Convection microwave. So if you can pop your popcorn, you can warm things up. You can also bake. You can make a chicken, pizza, bread, because it's actually an oven as well. 
and then the brand new 12 volt Norcold fridge. I love this because it's got a separate freezer down below and then the fridge is up above. Very nice. Runs on 12 volt power, which is great because you don't have to be particularly level for a compressor fridge. And it works a lot better at high ambient heat outside in humidity. So the 12 volt fridge, I think you're gonna absolutely love it. it cools real nice, runs on 12 volt, very energy efficient, uh, 6.2 cubic feet total size. Hey, with this great 12 volt fridge, I think it's a great option to order the 400 watts of solar panels up on the roof because we got 200 amps of lithium batteries. The 400 watts of solar is going to trickle charge those house batteries and keep this fridge whoo, ice cold. As a matter of fact, if Taylor Smith can get a deal with Coke, so can I. Cheers. Hey, we're gonna have an in-depth look at the Ford Transit chassis that powers all of our Wonder Motorhomes. But let's start off with the 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost engine. 11,000 pound GVWR, 15,000 GCWR, 310 horsepower, 400 foot-pounds of torque. We pair that with a 10-speed automatic transmission. It also has auto start and stop technology, which is very nice. You can also order the chassis with optional all-wheel drive. On the 10-speed transmission, I've got little buttons here so I can upshift and downshift my transmission and still keep my eyes on the road. So if you're going up a hill, you can downshift a little bit. And once you get up there, you can put it back into the 10-speed overdrive transmission and let it roll down the highway. Lots of power. I suggest that you set the cruise control. And speaking of the cruise control, you have got adaptive cruise control, which is great because if somebody's slowing down in front of you, it'll slow you back away from them. We have TPMS, which is tire pressure monitor systems. You can see it up here on the screen. It has electric power assisted steering. I don't know if you've ever driven with that, but you can almost drive it with your baby finger going down the road. I don't suggest you do that, but you want to have two hands on the wheel, but it's super easy to drive. I absolutely love it. I love the 12 inch monitor and it's got sync four on it. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, pretty simple to do. You've got lots of charging ports up here. This is my main plug here. So if I want to plug in and use Apple CarPlay, I can do that right here. There it is there. So I've got now got Apple CarPlay, easy to use. And it feels like you have an iPad right there. It's very cool. So you can scroll through the different things. You can do your navigation. You can uh, get local restaurants, you can get gas station, things like that. Your phone is all set up in 3D. You can see here now, you can see exactly where we are, where we're going. And then you can go to the Ford. We also have some other settings here from Ford as well. You have different mobile apps. It also has built-in navigation, so you don't have to use the navigation system off your phone. You can use the uh, Sync 4 navigation system, which works great. Languages you can set, temperature units, you can go from kilometers to miles per hour. You can go from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Of course, we have air conditioning built into all of our motor homes, which is all set up like there, all automatic. 12 volt charging port here, USB charging port here, USB-C charging port here, and another 12 volt charging port here. So lots of charging, lots of room in the cab too. We got our map lights right here for little lights, little storage areas up here. I absolutely love it. I love the handle for getting in and out of the motor home. We also have tilt steering, telescopic steering, once again, power assisted electric steering, which is absolutely fantastic. We order all of our chassis with a 178 inch wheelbase. So you have less overhang between the rear wheels and the back of the motorhome. So less bounce, right? Lot smoother to drive, more stable, absolutely. And all the transit chassis come with four wheel disc brakes. We also have aluminum rims. We order directly from Ford. Both of our chairs turn and swivel. We order that option on all of our transit chassis, all done in all Ultra fabrics. We redo these seats so they're super comfortable to sit in and drive down the highway. Ford has lots of safety features that they've added to the Transit chassis that we order on all of our Wonder Motorhomes. It's got traffic sign assist built right into the dash so I know exactly what the miles are per hour in an area. We have Secure Lock, which is an anti theft system. We also have 
active lane keeping assist with driver alert. So if you've been swerving out of your lane a few too many times, you're going to get the old pull over, have a coffee, take a break, which is really important because, hey, you're RVing. We're in no rush to get anywhere. SOS post collision impact braking as well. Forward front collision warning. Side wind stabilization. That's a great feature to have. It's very breezy here in Florida right now. So I love that feature. It'll break the motor home, keep everything under control, slow you down. Pre-collision assist with automatic braking, which I really love, and post-collision braking as well. High intensity headlamps with auto high beam. We also have fog lights in the chassis. The black grill looks absolutely fantastic. We've also got rain censored windshield wipers. Very cool. So they'll automatically come on when it starts to rain. Two AGM chassis batteries for starting the engine. There's lots of little convenience features, you know, little cubby hole here. I love all the drink holders. There's a couple in the doors, drink holders here. Here. drink holders up here another drink holder down here mirrors which are heated and i can adjust them over here power windows as well nice steering wheel leather steering wheel feels real good i like the size of it on the speedometer area here you have some controls as well so you can have your miles per hour you can flip that over to kilometers too for our canadian customers it'll also show your fuel economy right there current time you know how long you've been running the motor you also have your controls for your phone if you want to make phone calls and stuff right here you also have your adaptive cruise control setting right here and of course compass built right in we also provide all of our new owners two years of roadside assistance it's a 1-800 number it has a concierge service if you run out of fuel if you lock out of your vehicle they can come unlock you get you back into the motorhome that comes standard for the first two years when you get your leisure travel and even if you have one on order join my ltv we have walkthrough videos on how everything works in the motorhome how the air conditioner works how the toilet works all manuals product videos, everything, so you can be really knowledgeable. We also have all the interior and exterior dimensions, plus you can join different travelers clubs as well. We have travelers clubs that have rallies all over the place. Our photo contest that we do every year, which turns into our yearly calendars, we have some great prizes for that. All my LTV members have live chat access to our service advisors, so join my LTV. And this red button right here, this is our subscribe to our YouTube channel button, so when you hit it, you'll automatically subscribe to our YouTube channel. No, I'm kidding, but make sure you do. But this is our hazard lights. If you want to turn them off or on, that's what that red light does. And that inside is absolutely spectacular. Two separate living areas. I absolutely love it. Everything you could want. First of all, it's absolutely gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous. Curved walls. We got our molded fiberglass front mass panoramic view. Look at the beautiful curved wall. Hey, let's start with the awning. So we're just gonna one press the awning and out it's gonna come. Absolutely simple to use. Built-in LED lights. I love that with the awning. So at nighttime, I've got some lighting. Little campfire. It's gonna come out 12 feet in length and just over seven feet in width. I love the fabric material on the top. You can see how big it is, how beautiful it comes out. Hey, let me show you something else before we put it back up. This is a great option, our little suitcase optional exterior table. All done in aluminum, absolutely fantastic with adjustable legs. I absolutely love it. This is great, great, great. Lock it in place. There we go. Man, sit outside. I'm gonna sit back, enjoy it. I got the awning out, sun off my head. Actually, very nice. Plus, if you have a little barbecue, you can plug it into our propane quick connect right here. Plug it in there. We have an electric plug here. Put the grill on the table and we're grilling. What a nice little option to have. You do a lot of dry camping, the table is a great option to have. So three o'clock cocktails have come and barbecuing is done. Hey, you're gonna love it. Another feature on this awning, it's pretty simple. If there's wind, a big gust of wind, it's got a wind sensor on it. And look at that, it automatically closes. But however, if it's super windy outside, leave the awning in. We don't wanna lose an awning because it's on a really windy day. As you can see, it's pretty breezy here today. We know that there's some wind breezes coming, so we wanna make sure that we leave our awning in. And we've got heated 
mirrors, but they move in against the uh, chassis, which is really cool. If you're in a little tight area, because we are seven feet, 11 inches in total width, I can bring my mirrors in and I can fit into a small area. They're also heated, which I really like. I also like we've got our fiberglass step for getting in and out of the chassis. We've got our courtesy lights right here and our transition molding. This is molded fiberglass insulated. See how this transition molding ties into the chassis. Storage is always important. Let's look at some storage right here. We're going to open up this area here. EPDM rubber hinge seal. Look how that opens up so beautifully. We got our shore power cable cord right here, 30 amp. And you can see the struts built into the door so it's not going to bang and hit you on the head. This is all galvanized sheet metal. All of our compartments are galvanized sheet metal. Reason we like galvanized sheet metal, super strong, won't rust, right? And not going to get damaged because we also spray foam all of our compartments underneath. We also spray foam all of our tanks underneath so that stones and rock when you're going down the road aren't going to damage anything. Plus, it's quieter when you're driving down the road. The spray foam keeps the motorhome quieter when you're driving. And we have our leisure travel van key that locks the door. It's a switchblade key and it's specific to leisure travel vans. So you can lock this door. Nobody can get your valuables. Nice option to have is our keyless entry. It runs off of the Ford key fob so you can lock all the doors and unlock all the doors and you can also start the engine because we have keyless remote start on the engine as well so that's all built into your Ford key fob when we open our entrance door we have our automatic step that comes out so this is kind of cool you have camping mode as well so I can turn the camping mode on and then when I open and close my door so I'm at a campground the step stays down that'll save your motor on the electric step so that's very smart to do but don't panic in the event that you start the engine the step automatically will go up. Very, very nice. You're going to absolutely love this door too because we have this nice screen right here. You can see right here, nice screen. So you're going to have lots of air coming in the motorhome. If you have pets, look, we got bracing, right? So the pets aren't going to go through the screen door. Locks out of the way and there we go. Talked a little bit earlier, we have our LED lights up in the awning. We also have a nice exterior light on the outside at night. And you also have an exterior light here for getting in and out of the motorhome. Some more storage. Look at this. Nice little storage area here. Here's a great storage area for a toolbox or a fishing box, whatever you like to do. Some built-in strut, EPDM rubber hinge shield, galvanized sheet metal, light, super strong. As we move down, you're going to love this. So we have our 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter right here and standard on all 24 wonders we've got two 100 amp lithium batteries because they're also got a heat switch on them to keep them warm so they'll take a charge and give a charge standard on all 2024 wonders now let's talk about construction look at this beautiful curved wall absolutely beautiful vacuum bonded boxed aluminum framing two pound density polystyrene insulation i mean it is super super strong anywhere you hit this wall it's the same consistency check out our leisure travel van factory tour we'll show you how we build everything walls roof floor cabinets electrical upholstery we do it all the roof construction is boxed aluminum framing vacuum bonded one piece fiberglass flex roof as you can see super strong fully insulated check out our leisure travel van factory tour sign up and see it it's about an hour long you're gonna absolutely love it full body paint full body paint that means that everything is painted on the motorhome all the walls all the area here rear mask front mask each color painted three times two coats of clear you can see how beautiful and smooth it is and we have eight different exterior colors gotta have a color that you're gonna like so this is silver we have graphite shadow glacier white suede eurosport champagne and then of course atlantic blue so eight different exterior colors there's got to be one that you're going to love you can actually build the motorhome pick which exterior color and have a look at it and we'll get a quote out to you okay so on the transit chassis we order all of our transit chassis on our wonder motorhomes with aluminum rims so forged aluminum rims right from ford they're 16 inch wheels 
We also spray foam underneath here, right? So no rocks and debris can smash and hit the motorhome. Keeps it also quiet when you're going down the road. Once again, we have dualies on the back. So I have four tires on the back. We have optional all wheel drive with the Ford chassis. So you can get that as an option as well. It doesn't change the height of the motorhome. So we're still under 10 feet of exterior height. So which is really cool. Now, one other thing I'd like to point out is we also order a 178 inch wheelbase on all of our transit chassis. So we have a longer wheelbase, which gives you a nice smooth ride and you have less overhang or less bounce at the back of the motorhome. So really important. You want a nice long wheelbase in your motorhome. The camp side of the motorhome, you're going to absolutely love this. We got our sexy frameless glass windows on in style open up, right? So it's pouring rain outside. I can still have cross ventilation in the motorhome. Solarium style. So we have two windows over on the passenger side looking into the campground area. All that natural light. Down here we've got our standard four kilowatt gas generator. Very important. So we got lithium battery standard. We also have a standard generator. If you're a dry camper, you never have to worry about running out of power because if I, my batteries go dead, bang, fire up the 4,000 kilowatt generator, repowers up all of your batteries. You can go back to dry camping quietly if you want. Four kilowatt generator, lithium batteries for all of our dry campers two thumbs up. You're going to love it. We're on the back of the motorhome here. You can see our beautiful one piece molded fiberglass rear mask, fully insulated rear wall, super strong optional ladder. Absolutely great to have if you like to get up on the roof and clean things. Remember the roof is very slippery though. We don't recommend you going on the roof because it is slippery. So we got our backup camera that runs off of our 12 inch Ford monitor up front so you can see what's behind you. So I always say so you can see what you're about to hit. LED light marker lights, LED lights back here and then we have our 5,000 pound receiver hitch right here. So this is a class 3 receiver hitch. So the Ford chassis and this is on the rear lounge, the RL has a total GCWR of 15,000 pounds. So if I were to load up the motorhome to the maximum GVWR of 11,000 pounds, then I can tow up to 4,000 pounds. But you always want to make sure you know what your wet weight is of the motorhome. So make sure you get to a scale, see what your wet weight is, check your all your owner's manuals before you tow anything. The other thing here, we've got our seven pin connector here for towing. So if you're going to tow a little car or a trailer or a little boat, you can just plug it in right there. So always check your owner's manual for your towing information very important to do. We have the optional exterior ladder which is very cool and it's a two-piece ladder so that nobody can climb up on your roof without the second piece of the ladder. So you can climb on up there. It's good for cleaning the roof, making sure that your solar panels are clean, right? They're more efficient when the solar panels are clean. But anyways, I love the uh, optional two-piece ladder. Working our way to the front area, you can see once again our sexy frameless glass windows. Awning style opens up. This is also our emergency escape window. Storage, look at this. We open up this. We got a nice storage area here. So nice big storage area right there for your stuff, which is super important. And then down below here, we've got our outside service center. Look at that. Everything is in one place. A nice little option to have. This is called the macerator pump. It's an option and it'll dump the tanks. The cool thing about a macerator pump is you can actually pump uphill. It'll actually pump uphill and then down because some dump stations are a little bit higher. There's a little cap on the end here. You got to take this cap off because if you don't take the cap off, you're going to have problems. If you ever seen the movie RV, that's what's going to happen. So make sure you take that little end off before you dump. You put that into the dump station. We pull our black tank and then we turn on our macerator pump. We have got the standard three inch dump hose. We put that within all the motorhomes so you can still dump manually, not wreck your vacation. Black water flush. So when you're going to use the black water flush, once again, you're going to hook up a garden hose to this. You're going to pull your black valve. You're going to be hooked up to a service station. Then you're going to turn on the water and then that's going to flow back into the tank. Over here, we've got our satellite connection. If you have a portable satellite dish, you can hook up to here. We also have a great option of a satellite dish. We have the WineGuard T4 satellite dish. It does dish, direct, and bell. That way you don't have to carry a portable one, which is kind of smart. We also have a cable connection here. So if their campground has cable, you can plug in right there. This is our outside water switch. So I want to turn on my water pump. So I'm dry camping. I would then turn on my water pump and I can use the exterior shower so I can have hot and cold water 
right here. I can wash my feet. If I have pets, I can clean the pets. If you do some fishing, you want to clean the fish outside, you can do it so you have hot and cold running water. And then when I want to fill up the tank, right here, I lift this up, I run my fresh water drinking hose and I plug it into here. And then I have a switch right here so I can fill up my fresh water tank on board. Don't panic when it overfills, there's an overflow on it. It'll drip onto the ground. That way you know your tank is full. And of course, I'm at a service campground like I am right now. I would turn this to city water and run my drinking water hose right into here as well. Over here, we've got our winterizing bypass valve. So if I'm going to winterize the unit, I want to bypass it because I don't want any antifreeze going into the fresh water tank. And this is kind of cool. This is a pickup hose for antifreeze right, for winterizing purposes. And also, if you're dry camping and you have a big jug of fresh water, you wanna get it into your fresh water tank, you can put this down and suck the water up into your fresh water tank. So that's a nice little pickup hose, I really like that. This little contraption, is for dumping your freshwater tank. So at the end of the year, or you wanna clean your tank or whatever, you can just put this underneath here, turn it, and you'll drain out your freshwater tank. Super convenient, all in one spot. Close it up and lock it down. Over here, we've got our propane tank. So 13 gallon propane tank that gets filled up by a licensed propane filler. You've got a gauge on the outside. We also have a gauge on the inside for filling up the tank. That gets done by a propane filler. Here's where our shore power cable goes in right here. 30 amp shore power cable. Gonna plug it into here, right? So that's all done. And we've also got a surge protector built into the motorhome. So if it's bad power coming from there, it won't allow the power to go inside and damage any of our electronics. So built in surge protector. So you don't have to get a portable one that people will always steal. 16,000 BTU furnace. That's gonna keep us nice and warm in the motorhome that runs on propane. And this is the Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus hot water heater once again runs on propane 60,000 BTUs of power so if you're hooked up to a shore connection right I'm campground you can shower all day long because this is one heck of a hot water heater. So how it works is we have two settings, Comfort and Comfort Plus. When it's on Comfort, it doesn't heat this little one liter of hot water. When you have it on Comfort Plus, it keeps this one liter of hot water nice and hot. And we have separate lines that run to each faucet, the kitchen, the bathroom, the shower. So when you turn on that hot water, it's instantly hot. As it uses up that one liter of hot water, the heat exchangers are fired up because they're running on propane. If you're hooked into a full service campground, so you're dumping your gray tank directly and you have unlimited hot water. Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus hot water heater, standard on all Wonder Motorhomes, and it's absolutely fantastic. Okay, storage, once again, very important. Look, nice big storage area right here. Once again, galvanized sheet metal spray foamed underneath. We got two struts on this one because it's a big storage area. We don't want that door to hit us. Absolutely fantastic. Super strong, I love it. I love this nice big window in the galley area. Once again, awning style. And look at this beautiful molded fiberglass transition molding here, fully insulated, slides into the chassis. You're gonna like this. When I wanna fill up my fuel, I can close the door, fill up my fuel. Remember, this is a gas engine, so fill it up with gasoline, right? And then no fumes go into the motorhome. When I close it like this, it locks in place. Nobody can tamper with my gas. Courtesy light for getting in and out of the motorhome. Fiberglass step for getting in and out. Once again, we have our heated mirrors that fold out of the way in case we're in a tight area. And look how beautiful this motorhome is. Look at this beautiful molded fiberglass, insulated, panoramic view, very aerodynamic, right? When you're rolling down the road, you can see a leisure travel van wonder coming for miles away because this looks like a spaceship going to the moon, baby. Thank you very much for watching the 2024 Wonder Rear Lounge video. I really appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hammer that bell. Check out uh, an RV show. We're at a lots of RV shows. Check out your local leisure travel van dealer. Take one of these out for a test drive. You're going to love this motorhome. Two separate living areas. One in the back, one in the front. Four seat belts. We have an optional air mattress so you can sleep up to four people. The private dry bathroom. A powerhouse of a chassis rolling down the highway. Go and see one of these in person and you should be here in in Florida RVing, absolutely. I'm gonna go for a little walk now because it's freezing cold back home. So I'm gonna enjoy this Florida weather, absolutely. So take care, we'll see you next time. Dean from Leisure Travel Vans.